All right, very good. All right, uh, here's, uh, here's one for me. It's a really deep, tough one. How do I know, when do I know if my subflooring is damaged or needs to be replaced? Subflooring shouldn't get damaged, okay? Um, if it did, your whole house flooded, didn't it? Yeah, you got a problem. Yeah. Subfloors don't get damaged. Now, um, the exception to that is some of the old particle board. The old particle board uh, floor is used a lot in the 70s and 80s. It absorbed water readily, and it reacted badly when it did do that uh, absorption. You hear that absorption? absorption? That was a tough word. I, I nailed it, though. First try. Even the Russian judge was like, yeah! Um, anyway, how do... When you get particle board and you introduce moisture to it, it's bad to swell. And what it does is it'll swell, cause a hump in your floor, and then in the winter or when it dries back down, it'll shrink and it allows that floor now to move. You'll see nails popping up through a vinyl floor. Lots of squeaks. Lots of squeaks, okay? So in a case like that, it, you've got problems. You're going to have to rip off everything, rip the particle board out. And a lot of times particle board is over top of a layer of plywood. So you can you can take the particle board up, throw it out in the yard, come back with three-quarter hardwood on top of it. You don't even have to replace the subfloor. Right. But if you want to come back with LVP or something thinner, we'd recommend at least a half inch of plywood um, down there, lots of nails in it, and then put your hardwood on top of that. How about that? Pretty good. All right, here's one for you. My right. white oak flooring is turning yellow. How do I keep it from turning yellow on me? Okay, most of the time if it's turning yellow, it's usually in front of like a sliding door or a big glass window where you get direct sunlight all day. And it's actually bleaching the wood. Uh, best way to stop it, put you some blinds up so when it's direct sunlight, shut them so, just so the direct sunlight don't hit. All woods are going to change colors. Mm -hmm. It's all going to patina, but when you get that direct sunlight on there every day, it's going to do it a lot quicker yeah, in that oak, area. White oak and walnut are right. two of them that do that a lot. Yeah. Cherry. American Cherries cherry does it a lot. lot. So, but it's it, the direct sunlight that's going to do it the worst. You, you have to, when you buy a floor, you have to understand it is going to patina, yes. but remember why you pick that floor out is because of the color it is. Now, red oak, if you, when you buy red oak right out of the box, it has a pink cast. It gets it gets a lot better looking in the first six months. Right. But all the floors are going to patina. If you don't want them changing much, just put you some blinds up. Or you can do that, what's it called, low-E light. You can put right. uh, additives to your windows that cut yeah. down some of that. All right, here's one for you. Um, if or when I get a leak in my concrete basement, will waterproof LVP dry out eventually? Or will I have to tear it up to get rid of the mold? Is glued down sheet vinyl better? For the basement? For a wet basement. Yep, for a wet basement. I would like to cover the 2010 concrete slab with something for now to make it more livable in the winter. We mm. get cold feet in Michigan. Yeah, that's a really interesting question. I see now why you want me to answer it. Um, get a leak, will a waterproof LVP dry out eventually? No, probably not. When you get, water, being waterproof works for us and against us, okay? Uh, it keeps water from going through it, but it's, it's not a valve, okay? It doesn't allow it to go one way, but not the other. So if you get a flooded, water goes around it, it's probably going to stay there. Yeah. Um, you, the good thing is, your LVPs are click. Yeah. Take them up, mark the, ones on, mark the ones on the outside, okay? If you're gonna start over here, number those first 10 so they go back in the same place. Matter of fact, you might want to number them all, you know, what road they go yes. in, so there's no waste. But just take them up, give it a couple of days to dry out, lay your LVP uh, colored side down so the back can dry, if it's cork back or rubber right. back, let it dry, and just stick it back down. It's not rocket science. Um, it's a lot of work. It's annoying, but... Okay. But you don't have to buy a new floor. Right. You're going to buy a new floor, that's right. right.